Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, my name is Sumner. I am solving Advent of Code at day 12 today. And it's opening up in just under six minutes at this point. So yesterday was really bad. I just messed up indices over and over and over again. So I've added a few um, helper functions um, to, to maybe, maybe hopefully help me just a little bit, um, have this compass, grid ders, diag, grid ders, and, and all of the grid directions. Just, you know, I have a feeling we'll see something along those lines eventually. Um, and then I also added a grid adjacencies function, which gives me the adjacent elements uh, the, the indices of adjacent elements in row call. And this, this does the check automatically for me to make sure that it's in bounds. I saw somebody doing this in Lua. And it uh, looks like in Lua, you can actually just uh, basically index things that are out of bounds and it like returns something falsy. It looks pretty useful. But I'm not using Lua because I don't know Lua. However, I guess once uh, if things just just really go south over the next few days, I might just switch over to trying to learn a new programming language with these things. That might be an interesting exercise. Um, but we'll we'll have to see. If I do reasonably well in the next few days, then then that probably won't happen because I'm gonna try and try and get the get the W or at least finish pretty high up on our private leaderboard. Um, so just just to take a look at how bad yesterday was, two people solved the whole thing before I even solved part one. And then my incremental time was trash. So anyway, um, we'll just have to see. This is obviously disappointing, but we will survive. I haven't... I haven't dropped too far down. Uh, I stayed stayed steady, but the issue right now that I have is that I, I I'm fairly far back, so I'm gonna have to have a really good performance, and then they're gonna have to not do as well, which is clearly hard for them to do. They're too good. All right, so welcome in if you're if you're joining. Um, glad to have you along for the ride today. I'm not gonna talk a ton during the solve as I'm solving, but uh, I might as, uh, so I will afterwards then go through what happened, kind of figure out what went wrong because something's gonna go wrong. Um, and then I'm going to explain my solutions. Um, and at that point, you know, if you have questions about how I'm solving these or any, any sort of questions, I'm more than happy to answer. Um, uh, computer science education is something that I care a lot about, so I would love to be able to impart some of my feeble knowledge upon some other unsuspecting people. Okay, we're 30 seconds out at this point. Um, and so we got on the ferry, we managed to get on the ferry, and we're in the middle of the ocean, so we're probably going to get attacked by sharks or something. But then that would be shark attack, which wouldn't be a uh, alliteration, so maybe not. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're facing east. Only left and right change the direction the ship is facing. So 
So the ship is facing east and the next instruction is north 10, the ship would move north 10 units but would still move east if the following action were, were F. Okay, so this is an example. At the end, the ship's Manhattan distance of its east-west and its north-south position from a starting position is 25. Manhattan distance location and starting position, okay. Um, so, first of all, okay, so, um, Line zero comma int. Do we always have int? Okay, and then we're going to take all this, move it down into here. So so east is going this way so zero zero on the rows and then so let's go x y so this is one comma zero. So that's the direction vector. And then C equals N. So x stays the same, pause, zero, pause, one plus b, south, east is going to be, and then west is going to be negative, and then if we do forward, then we go pause zero equals b times d zero um, plus v times d one forward left I'm guessing that yeah, I think it's only ever going to be um, V, okay, so V over 90, then let's just, okay. Okay, so Then down is uh, negative one, zero. 
then left is wait no zero negative one We probably want to do this the other way. Positive one, so that's up the y axis. Negative one, zero, zero, negative one. Um, and then down here, we will just do d plus v over 90. So D equals that, and then, then right goes the other way. Uh, and then all this mod for and then zero comma zero zero d okay so pause zero minus zero plus pause one wait are do we start at zero zero yeah we must just it's just it's just the sum of these seven oh four Clearly that's not wrong, that's not right. Um, let's print zero, zero, 10, zero. Ten, three, So this we will so this is our problem. So R ninety R goes this way. Pause D zero in the X direction, negative one in the Y direction. And then we go forward eleven. Eleven, so this should do seventeen seventeen negative eight. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Top 1,000. Waypoint.
10 1 okay so all of that here so xy yep um Ten units east, ten units north, east ten, north ten. Okay, so this this basically does. Um, if we do forward, then we're just going to do the position, and then set it instead of D W P. So we're basically just moving the waypoint around us at this point. Um, and then pause, and then N3, 10 units east, four units, move the waypoint. So this is gonna change equals WP0, WP1 plus V. South is gonna do negative, right? So yeah, this is, so east is going to be plus in the x direction, nothing in the y, and west is going to be waypoint negative this direction, same there. Okay, um, forward's going to do that. L means rotate the waypoint around the ship. Okay, so this is the, the difficult part. So we have to translate from this coordinate to this coordinate system. Um, and I've forgotten how to totally do this. So um, if, so, so DERS may actually be useful here. Because this actually still signifies the, the axis. So one zero, then we would want to, if we wanted to rotate to the right, then what we would do here, uh, or to the left, let's do to the left. So if we go to the left, then we do, one zero zero one. So the diff between these is so final is negative one. So the x direction becomes negative. The y direction becomes positive. Okay, so the waypoint So V over 90 is going to be important. So if we have 0 comma so x is 1 y is 1, then rotate 90 should become 1, negative 1, zero, uh, 1. So the y stays the same. So that's a, that gives us the sign change.
is zero. Okay. Hmm. So one, so it's this one. So it's one, Uh, 286. <sighs> ten one, ten one. 10 units east and 4 units north of the ship, 10 units east, 10, 4. ship remains at 110, 7 units, 170, 38, 10, 4. Oh. Uh, when I do this, I have to change the waypoint as well. Wait, waypoint should just be a Delta. F11. F11 didn't work. So ten four didn't work. Hmm. 
Oh, it's here. So two, zero, one, two, and then one. So, so when we rotate to the right, 90 degrees, so if we're here, so positive, whatever the positive x goes to the negative y. Oh, wait, so was our translation, I think it needs to be this. Yeah, so it didn't change this. So from going from zero, so from one one zero to zero one should make it go from the x should go to a negative y. Um, so we're at 10, 4, we rotate to the right 90, that should make us go, the x direction should go to the y direction and flip signs. The y direction should go to the x, x direction and stay the same sign. But they're not, uh, maybe 260, 286 is the right answer for this. Um, So the x direction, y, so it's always going to be something like this. So if it's 90 degrees, so basically if it's, if it's zero, zero, then it should be, if it's zero, uh, if it's one, zero, then it should become negative one, zero. zero negative x if it's 180 then the x direction should stay the same how do you flip across an axis how do you do this like what are what am i supposed to do
What am I supposed to mirror across? X plus then okay, so if it's 180 degrees away, so one zero should go to negative one zero, I guess. This only works if I'm on this plane though. Um, how the heck do you do this? I guess you use this. Um, yeah, I guess that makes sense. By so ninety degrees over two, I believe, right? Because that should be ninety degrees one over two. So I think that that's correct. Y X sine theta Y cos plus Y cosine theta That's not good. These should never go.
So let's see here. One seventy ten, so it goes from ten, negative five. So it should be 410. Wait, did I just read this wrong? No, x prime is x times cosine theta minus y times sine theta. And y is that. So what gives? That's clearly wrong. It should be more like this, but positive oh wait why is theta one wait so what is this So clearly it's the right rotation that's not working. Right? Like Um, what's the conversion? It's, uh, let's just do this in degrees. And then what we'll do is, 
Um, I, I, I freaking hate this. It's so freaking annoying. How do I convert this? This is why I hate trig. One degree is pi over times pi over 180. Pi over 180. Still 220. the heck um, I clearly can't even copy paste from stack overflow X times cosine Y times sine Y times cosine Y times sine and that's X Y so why why the heck isn't this working it's like literally Frick me. This one's X. Ah, oh, man. <sighs> Absolute bull crap. Bull frickin' crap. I dropped a lot of points there. A full 30 back. Okay, so everything went wrong today. Um, but as, as I promised, I'm gonna talk about it. Part one was okay, actually. Like, okay, never mind. It was, it was, it was bad. Like, I should have, I should have solved it in a minute earlier. So let's just clean up a couple of stuff. Add in a regression test. <sighs> okay, so what is this problem asking? Um, basically, the idea is that you are trying to navigate your boat, right? And you have a bunch of actions and corresponding values. So n means you go north by the given value, south, you go south by the given value, etc. And then you have left, right, and forward. Forward goes whatever direction you're currently facing. Left and right just turn you by some number of degrees. So we start out facing east. So this is conceptualized as pointing up along the positive x axis. So what we have to do is you have to just basically follow all the instructions and then get the Manhattan distance to the um, uh, starting position. Oh yeah, I forgot to absolute value. That's what I forgot on this. If I had done this, I would have gotten a whole whole minute off, I shaved a whole minute off the clock and, you know, I would have solved uh, part one in a, you know, sane amount of time, like... Yeah, I, I could have I could have I could have won part one. But instead I got third place because somebody submitted two seconds before me. Okay, so back to the explanation. Um so each action I, I just pasted them in here. Uh basically let me copy these over to the corresponding if statements. So so I should have done if else if etc but um i was being too lazy and else if requires me to type just a little bit more so i, I didn't clearly it, it, it didn't help um so the idea is you're, you're maintaining the state of your position and the state of the direction that you're facing so i i normalized everything to use like xy coordinate grid stuff because you know obviously that makes sense 
And so it's X, Y instead of Y, X, which is what I normally use for grids or row column for grids is what I normally use. And then basically each command, you just have to update the position or the direction accordingly. So position, this is pretty easy. It's just a translation. You, you know, if you're going north, you stay on the same X, uh, X, but change Y and the same with south, just in the opposite direction. And then obviously, so, so the idea, right, is that in the input file, you have a lot of uh, values, which are the um, uh, basically the the amount that you should go in that direction, um, and so that's what this plus plus v and minus v is doing. Same thing down here. So east and west, same idea, except for on the x-axis. Yeah, this is just a simple translation. This is algebra, I guess, um, which I can do, unlike trigonometry. <laughs> So let's get rid of a couple of prints in here. These four or these three are the more complicated ones. Yeah, so the first the first challenge is to figure out like so the, the first thing to notice is that you're facing east initially, which means that and also you never face anything but the compass directions. Oh, which I totally had in my starter code, I think. Wow, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I literally had this here. I don't think it would have helped because it's in the wrong order. So it's probably good that I rewrote it. So the idea is that um, this is your, these vectors are just along your, uh, along the four axes of a, of a standard Euclidean plane. So one zero is along the positive y axis. This is um, along the positive, or sorry, positive x-axis, positive y-axis, negative x-axis, negative y-axis. So what's the trick here? Um, basically, the, the thing to notice is that if you rotate um, 90, that's equivalent. Um, so so 90 in the in the left direction, that's equivalent to moving in your list, in the directions list, 1. So, so say you have you're you're along the positive x-axis, then if you turn to the left by ninety, now you're on the positive y-axis. So that's just a, a a translation of the vec of the direction vector. Um, and then if you do one eighty, then that's uh, two steps. If you do two seventy, that's three steps. So you're over here. Um, the it, the the one trick here is that you need to do this mod to make sure that you wrap around in the array um, because otherwise you're going to go out of bounds. Say if you're here and then you rotate left 90, you need to go back to the beginning. So then the other thing is to the right, it, you basically go back, right? So if you're at the positive y axis, you go back 90 degrees, you're at the positive x axis, that's a right rotation. So effectively, what what um, what this is doing is using that to our advantage. It's going and finding our current direction, and then figuring out how many ticks in in each direction we need to go um, to find the new index of our direction, and then we're just resetting that to ders, um, or we're indexing into ders with that index. So that was actually pretty good, and I didn't like screw this up too badly um, when I was solving. So the next thing to observe here is forward. So this is the other key, right? Um, and, and it's a translation along whatever your direction vector is. So you have to keep track of where you're facing. And that's this D. Let's change D to facing just for clarity. And basically then you're X position, then you just add uh, your X vec uh, the vector here. So like if it's one, then it'll multiply times V and add that to X. Um, same thing with Y. And that that's how part one works. Um, after we're done going through all the actions, you have to then 
take the absolute value of your position, uh, x and position y values. The, 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 um, the, key, the key is making sure that you actually do the absolute value. If you just do the position, then you're screwed because it's wrong. It's not Manhattan, it's, you know, this has to be Manhattan distance. Um, so, uh, yeah, absolute, absolutely terrible. I, I can't, it's so annoying. Is there anything else that I want to change on part one? Oh, uh, one thing, uh, input parsing wise. Um, so this worked okay, I think. Basically, I just take the, the command, that's the first thing, and then take the rest of it and convert it to an int. So I think that that worked okay. Um, so input parsing went well. Okay, so moving on to um, part two. Part two was a disaster. I understood what I was doing, but I just don't know trig. So that's the real problem here. I just, like, I hated trig when I was in trig, and I purged it from my memory, and now it's come back. Like, this is like, it, it's like the freaking um, ghost of Christmas past. It's come back to haunt me. It's come back to haunt me, and it's really infuriating. Um, so there are many ways of doing this rotation that I couldn't figure out any of them. Um, so, you know, that's good. Yeah, and I managed to, to typo X and Y again. I don't know what I can do to solve that. Like, just be less listexic. I mean, dyslexic. Like, I, I don't. I literally don't know how I can how I can just not screw that up so badly because it is whatever. Like, unbelievable. So, what is part two actually asking? Basically, the 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 thing that's different here is that we have this waypoint. So, this waypoint is like a. It can be thought of as a direction vector. It starts out as 10, 1. So this basically means that your, your, your direction vector is 10 units east, 1 unit north. So that's like out on the x-axis and up 1. Uh, 10 out on the x-axis, uh, up on the y-axis by 1. And this is always relative to the ship. So, so this is, this, this relative to the ship key thing is key. It basically means that you don't ever have to, like, it, it is just a vector. It's just telling you a, a delta from your current position. And basically what, what happens is that north, south, east, and west all move the waypoint. So, so the translation between part one and part two is literally just that, that these now, instead of acting on position, act on the waypoint. The next thing is F, L, and R. So F actually is kind of just as easy to be perfectly honest um, because it's just a translation but instead of using d which is a direction vector now this is an arbitrary vector wp and wp is your waypoint so your waypoint if it's like 10 up to the right and one up um uh or 10 out to the right one up then what will happen is that your position will go by 10 times v, uh, your, your x position will go up by 10 times v, and your y position will go up by uh, 1 times v, and so that's how you basically, um, you're going way faster now, right? So before you're only going by v, now you also have this vector which could propel you even further. So it's a, it's a multiplier. This is... Um, you know, I'm sure I can clean this up, but I honestly think that this is pretty clean besides the fact that I just, I don't know, uh, can't, can't read. Um, reading has really been a problem this entire time. Okay, so what, what really tripped me up was the rotation. So the problem, the problem is that you know, if you're just on on arbitrary, if you're just on the nice x and y axes, then something along this line works really well. It just works, no problems at all. But if you're on an arbitrary like 
if you're at an arb if you have an arbitrary vector, rotating that's non-trivial. Um, especially when I'm trying to do it uh, without looking it up. So I should have just straight up gone to Stack Overflow like earlier. I was like trying to be too cute. What I ended up doing was that I made a rotation function. So the rotation function, um, yeah, I literally copied this from Stack Overflow, except for I copied it wrong. Like I literally did Y here instead of X and that obviously isn't working. <laughs> um, I don't know how it works. I don't know trig. Um, I do know that you have to convert from degrees to radians because it gives you in degrees. So I just looked at this and, and did that. Now it's important to round for these because you'll get floating point errors. Um, and we don't want any of that floating point crap around. So, and rounding, make sure that you don't have, like I initially did floor, that doesn't work. Just, just round. It's gonna be close enough. It'll get you the right integer. Then it's the same, like left is just negative, uh, is just positive rotation. So that's like a, a right around the, the angle circle thingy that everyone knows about from trigonometry or everyone knows about besides me. Um, and then right is just negative angle basically. So, so that's why it's a negative V. And when you rotate, I, I was also stupid and forgot to assign it back. But I mean, at that point, everything had gone to to total crap, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, <laughs> you know, compounding errors. Yeah, I mean, at some point, compounding errors just don't even matter. Like, you're already just behind by so much, like, and that's what today ha happened today. So anyway, so yeah, the, the rotation function just gives you a tuple that is your new x and y coordinates. And again, I have no idea how this math works. I just copy and pasted it and thought it was good enough. And I clearly need to transcribe better. Okay, this was just a total disaster. So I don't really, I don't really have anything else to say. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some, or if you're me, you mainly lose some, so. Um, whatever. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully there's like a graph problem or something tomorrow that doesn't involve freaking trig or, gra uh, or grids or something like that. This was definitely not a very enjoyable problem because I, I just, I hate trig so much. And, um... Hopefully there's something that I'm good at tomorrow. Like I said, graph problem would be just fine. Well, most graph problems, hopefully I can solve it. Um, I, I tend to at least like those problems better. I'll probably mess up somehow again, but at least I will have been enjoying the process of messing up and not just trying to like floundering around with trying to like copy random crap from the internet to rotate things around a point. Um, anyway. If you've watched all of this disaster go down, thank you so much. I do really appreciate it. It means a ton to me. I, I do really appreciate being able to teach people and hopefully you found this at least, if not educational, at least entertaining. And if you did find it educational, I'm really glad. Please give it a thumbs up if you're on YouTube. Come over, follow me on Twitch. I'm doing this every single night and I will be back at it for tomorrow, which will be day 13.